Hey guys, so my last video on these dot files didn't exactly work out as planned. Uh, for the main reason that, um, what was the main reason? For some reason it recorded in 720p, 30 FPS, which is never okay, especially not on YouTube. And I didn't realize until I just got a message about it in the comments. So let's go over this one more time, shall we? So this was built by Lysak, he's a friend of mine, and uh, this is like a fresh start for him. Well, I guess his fresh, fresh, fresh start? I don't know. He's rebuilding his entire config, and uh, I actually went on the GitHub and found out that he's completely redone everything and given it its own. Uh, it, the, the GitHub just looks amazing. But we're going to go over this the best we can. And this is the actual state that it comes in, not what I was doing with it. What I was doing with it was just adding a dock and adding a start button. It was really cool. All right, so let's begin with the settings. Uh, as you can see, you can auto hide the dock or not auto hide the dock. The problem is if you auto hide, the, if you, like the dock doesn't go above, the applications don't go above the dock when you turn off auto hide, which they honestly should. Uh, but you know, that could be added later, I guess. Um, if you need to, you could change your profile picture for right here. Uh, just by editing this. Okay. Uh, short corners, like, yeah, I'm not a fan of corners, but if you want them and then you can dim the desktop or not dim the desktop, it's up to you. The bar's got a bunch of stuff, uh, like, uh, system info. If you're one of those strange people that like to constantly view their system information for some reason, I don't understand the need or obsession with it. If your computer just works, just, just leave it alone. Uh, you can turn the application tray on or off. It's up to you. It's right there. Uh, show active window. I don't know what that does, but it does something. And then media, not media. This is pretty cool. I like this. A nice quaint little um, audio center so you can like make everything work though you needed to and then change the volume up and down there's no osd though which is you know come on lysec implement an osd you know so when you turn the volume up and down it shows that'd be cool you know i dare you uh in here if you uncheck these the dock and everything or sorry you gotta check this one but the notifications and the bar will show on all monitors but if you just select on the specific monitor you want then they'll only show on one monitor which i like i like that a lot and there's your networking does my wi-fi work today no no it doesn't look like my wi-fi works today oh msi you are an odd one okay so we're gonna turn that off bluetooth is right there so if you kick bluetooth you got this interactive menu uh honestly i think it should be a little bit wider and like the scrolling space should just like have its own indented on the side like a is that a horizontal header or a vertical header i don't know one of the two i think that'd be nice but you can refresh devices and it looks pretty nifty I also tried to fi figure out how to fix the unknown to be able to tell what kind of device it was. You can see it says headphones there. Then that should be like headphones or audio device or something like that. But I could never figure it out. And I guess he didn't either, which is fine. Uh, so this is bar integration. So brightness icon. We have a brightness icon. Why is it a circle? That's weird. And then you can adjust your brightness. Like, if you have the application installed, you can just clearly go through and deal with your brightness levels for your monitor. Which would be cool if it was, like, integrated as a sub-tab in here. Like, uh, display is the first tab, and then uh, brightness. And There's a whole bunch of stuff you could do there. Yeah, so that can go away because that doesn't work right now. You know, enter your location, you get your weather right here, which is accurate, which is nice. 12 hour clock or 24 hour clock, reverse day or month. You know, if you're one of those weird, stingy people, you can see, you know, look at that. It's not actually doing anything, I guess, but, uh, 
There you go. You can also choose failure height. I mean Fahrenheit if you're in America and you want to feel alone in the rest of the world. Uh, Tony. Tony would love this one. You know, but I think I'm going to stick with... Uh... Ooh, that's a good deep purple right there. I like that. Let me look at that. Yeah, I like that. That looks nice. Those are the color schemes. I mean, uh, you probably could add more. Like, if you wanted to open up a pull request and go through and support him, you could probably add a ton more stuff uh, as well. Like, uh, the one thing that I want added more than anything is borders on the bar to be able to just have a border on the bottom. Uh, people could have it on the left and right and the top as well in case they want that. And maybe for the dock as well. And to have a dedicated dock tab here would be cool just below the bar i think here's your uh your wallpaper stuff i i honestly think that there should be wallpaper settings where you uh well this is wallpaper settings where you set your your location of your wallpapers and random and then intervals and then whether you're going to use sww or not and then you have your selector and yeah, I think that would be pretty nifty. Screen recorder is pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see. Did he listen to the input? Opus and AAC. It needs PCM audio, Isaac. It really, really does. I'm going to formally apologize, by the way, for the quality of the last video. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, that was just my bad, honestly. I didn't realize. So hopefully this kind of makes up for it. It's nice that you get to record your desktop like this. And then there's the about screen. And I like that a lot. That looks pretty cool. Hey, my name should be here as as basically uh, uh, some inspiration taken. Because, uh, you know, yeah, this does look pretty good. Admit it. And my settings look pretty badass, too. But there you go. This is it. It looks fantastic. It's clean. It's lightweight. And honestly, I love how lightweight it really is. That's not going to work, is it? No? Come on. Here, let's open up. Um, I have my own keybinds installed for this, by the way. I mean, look at that. It says my idle temp of my system is 51. But all my cores are pretty low at the moment, which is nice. And uh, the amount of RAM we're using is pretty normal, I guess. I guess that would have to do with OBS. But right now, Quick Shell is only using 610, 604, which is not bad at all. Hyperlin's using the rest. Yeah. Hyperlin's not as lightweight as people think it is. So there's that. But this is a very, very, very optimized config, which I do enjoy most of all. And I have gamed on it, and I can honestly tell you that it has no effect whatsoever on your performance. I mean, I get the same performance in this config as I do in my config, as I do in GNOME, as I do in KDE. There is zero difference for performance. Now, not only does this work with Hyperlint, but this also works with Neri if you're one of those... Uh, people who are currently following the trend and going from Hyperlin to Neri because Neri's the new special kid on the block. It's not going to last long. Most people migrate over and then they're like, eh, I'm bored and go back to Hyperlin anyway. It's well, that's what most people have done at this point. For those people that have actually stuck around with Neri, congratulations. Uh, you are a rare breed because God, that was the most boring thing I've ever touched. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's not, but hey. Um, what would be cool, and I'm going to go over this and add this in, is for the ability in the bar section to have, to turn on transparency, and then to have a slider to turn the transparency up and down. Okay, because you did add an ID to the dock, to the bar, which means I could add it into the hyperlink config, and I could definitely just like, you know, uh, turn it transparent and make it look really cool. Same thing goes with the dock. It also has an ID and it would work out pretty well. So having the ability to control transparency would be pretty amazing. 
having the ability as well to have radius on the bottom and the top because right now there's only radius on the top right like if we went to the uh actual probably gonna lose most people at this point because they don't i don't know if you guys know quick shell or not but where's doc there it is it's only one file by the way it's not a complicated doc wow Okay, I just found that out. All right, so if I go in here and we find radius for everything, it's right here. Top, left radius, right, left radius, right? And if we technically, I took copy too far. If I copied this and I did this, I could put, is it is it top left? So, no, it would actually be uh, bottom. Bottom right. Right? And then I would also take the top most one. And we just go here and do this to make it look like an actual dock. Change this to uh, bottom left. Like that. And now... Uh, now we have a real dock instead of I don't know what the hell that was. Because uh, docks technically float. And I think... Can I do... I don't... I don't think I can do margin though. Can I? No. Right. We don't have margin. And I don't think we have a bottom margin either. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, uh, I don't know. Most docks end up floating off. Sorry. Most docks end up floating off the bottom of the screen now. Uh, because it just looks better. But, uh, yeah. Yeah! This looks good. This is a very solid configuration. And this is one that I would, uh, margin dot bottom full height, peak height. So margin dot bottom. So we could do margin dot bottom, right? Let's try that. Just like do that. Nope. Hey. I'll figure it out later. It's pretty nice though. Plus 10 plus scaling. So this is the mouse area. It does have a right click menu. Like to close things, I think, or does it not? I don't know. It's not working. But um, very simplistic dock. I like it. But to have fine control over the way the dock looks and interacts and stuff like that would definitely be very beneficial for the config for people to utilize, right? Other than that, I don't have any real complaints besides clicking the bar and adding a start menu button on the top left. That's it. Do it. Do it, Lysek. I dare you. Bye, everybody. You'll find the link for the GitHub for this config in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and if you want me to check out other configs, I have one in mind. It has a really, really, really dumb name, but uh, I definitely found it really interesting because it also has a dock, and I like that. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. And again, I'm sorry for the other video in 720p. The hell.